and here it is so i've still i've still got another container coming for up there but it, we'll, we'll set up this tv and see if it's working i've never actually used this tv before so i don't know what channels and stuff we're going to use oh freddy do you want me to help you no it's just me <laughs> Hey guys, right, welcome to another episode on the caravan build, right, um, I've got a lot done this week, um, so the pull-out pantry is more or less finished, um, so I'm going to come in and show you, um, you know, we'll come in now, so, just a little sneak peek, the door is on, look at that, and I've got that all painted white, so I've got all that ready, and on this week I've actually got that wide in, and I've got that wide in. So we are going to test out, right now, we're going to test out this TV. Yeah, so, as you can see, I've got this on here that's permanently on there now, so we can still pull out the spice rack or whatever you want to call it. Right, we'll just push this, and here it is. So I've still I've still got another container coming for up there, but as you can see, I've got the wiring done, wiring done up in here. There's a 12 volts for the for the um, for the TV and two 40s there. So anyway, there is the pullout pear tree. So I'm pretty happy with that. There you go. Easy. So just to give you a bit of a view from out here. If I'm cooking out here somewhere, I can just pull it out and get whatever I want through the door. Um, I can pull that through if I want to. But anyway, there you go probably seen on the last episode for those that haven't seen it on that episode and we're thinking shoes we're going to put probably shoes down in there don't know and we're going to do drawers down there shelf um blind corner cabinet and today what we're going to do is get rid of all this mess and finish off the cabinetry for the fridge because the fridge is turning up we've bought a fridge right yeah let me set up let me set up um the tripod and then we'll, we'll we'll set up this tv and see if it's working i've never actually used this tv before so i don't know what channels and stuff we're going to use or we're going to get all right so yesterday yesterday was a horrible day so like gonna rain um, i only had like two hours to knock this up and then did the rest in the shed and, and then it became dry and sunny again and then it rained again it was a horrible day but in between, I got it painted and made. So this is the corner shelf for the TV. So this will go here. Just make sure you can see. This will go up in here in the corner. So these sides here go on, on, the, on there. But before we do that, that is the 12 volt socket for the TV. So what I'm gonna do is lift that up plug that in, just a cigarette lighter power supply and then I've just got like a bit of a gap at the back so there's the power for the TV and also we've got I don't know if any of you know about this one it, this looks deceivingly cheap, right? It's the, uh, this was about forty dollars, and it's a multi-amplified TV aerial, and it can pick up radio as well, apparently. So it looks nasty because you see some of the aerials on the um, caravans, and they're big white things. So we're going to test this out, see if this works. So I'm just going to stick this outside. 
this is a show you this is just gonna bring you out with me this is a long process I know so I'm just gonna stick stand on the step I'm gonna stick this up in the air up here up we go and I'm gonna hop back in hopefully that won't fall down So there's the wire there. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna tuck that over here, the majority of it. And then we'll run it to the TV over here. Right, here we go. Sorry for all the moving. Here we go, we're going to put this TV, now this TV I bought for $100 second hand, it's a 12 watt TV, the guy said it was fine, um, I hope, cross fingers, so it's a 12 watt TV, so no matter what we're going to use 12 volts, whether it's 240 or battery power, and this has a built in DVD player as well, there's a built in DVD player there, so I'm going to stick this up here, So there's a socket for the power, obviously, and one for the aerial. Can't quite see what I'm doing. Hang on. Right, that's in. Aerial is in. Right, that's it. That's all you need to turn the TV on. Right, so I'm just going to grab you now hand so I've got this hooked on all right there we go we'll turn that on so we count down to one it should all turn on there we go it's all on so when I flick this switch um, do we see any lights come on there we go So there's the power, there's the power there for the TV, that will turn that power socket on here, alright here we go, moment of truth, power on, all goes blue, oh look at this, look at this, we have a TV, let's hope it picks up stuff. Alright, so it's SBS radio service. So obviously you can pick up radio. So if I go channel. So that's SBS Pop Asia. ABC TV, there we go. Oh, look at that. We've got TV. Even the fact that he took strike um, was there to take down the quick. So we've got TV there, that's ABC, SPS 1. We've got Thompson Twins, uh, some show, another show. Weekend Edition, Studio 10, Prime 7. A decline in me. Prime 7, Channel 9, I don't know what that is. That Looks like we get a fair few channels. So if I actually sit back down here once this is all clean, we can literally, if you can see it better in the eye. The TV doesn't like the light in here. Uh, the camera, sorry. So we got ABC HD. This one... So we got we got a few stations. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. We got um, uh, what is it? Fox Live HD, ABC Kids. I think everyone knows who that is. ABC Me. You made this for me. Uh, don't know what that one is. ABC News. Um, what else? SBS One.
Jeez, there's a few channels. Vice Land SBS. I don't even know what that is. Um, World Movies SBS. So that aerial picks up quite a lot. We've got Sport, if you want to watch Sport. Jeez, I'm not going to be set up in here, eh? Do. I'm so delighted that you're back in Australia. You're going to be in Sydney tomorrow. Cannot wait. Tom Bailey is touring around Australia to check it. To destroy all. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got. Thank you so much for joining us today. Enjoy your time. We've got play eject for the DVD player. That menu. The menu can do all your normal things. And input. Excuse me. So we've got. Input, input will probably, if I press it, you can change it to all those things there. So we can actually have um, a console. We can actually have a console in there, or a PC, or a USB. Doesn't matter. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that a lot. So even though we've got a radio over here, we can still pick up radio with the TV. So there you go. All right, so I'm going to get this cleaned up. I'm just going to turn it down. Turn that down. Right, I'm going to clean up in here, and we are going to start the frame for the fridge. So I'm pretty happy with um, pretty happy with that. <coughs> I nearly thought about putting um, painting that in chalk and having like a chalkboard there. Not sure, but anyway, that's a two burner Barbie, a two burner cooker. So I'm pretty happy. Got the pull out, pull out pantry, and we got the TV all sorted. Um, I've noticed if you notice too, there's a little gap. I'm going to put a felt pad under there, and I've made it like this so you can get at the power points there, like that, or if you can get it through here, put your arm in there and do that. So we got full access, yet it's all supported. So I don't think that TV's gonna fall over because I've got all the brackets at the back. I had to turn the base around because it's all, it's all front heavy. So it's sort of sitting there and the back's holding it up. But anyway, I think that turned out pretty good. All right, let me get this stuff cleaned up and then we're gonna start um, doing this frame for the fridge. All right, guys, I've just cleaned that up now. And a courier van turned up. A courier van just turned up with the fridge, the 12 volt 240 fridge. So Nick's excited. She's bought a fridge. Um, we've bought a toilet as well, as well as the trim. The trim hasn't turned up for the fridge, but the fridge itself has. So it's perfect timing because um, I need to work out measurements. Like I was just going to do square, square, and then do the rest later. Um, but since we're going to open up the fridge, uh, unwrap the fridge, which we're going to do right now, then I can work out measurements properly, exactly, because it's, because it's here. So let's go, um, check it out. All right, we're inside. Hello, Nicole. Guess what? I see the fridge has turned up. No, no, this is not about you at all. This is, it's about me. Just me. All about me. Just me doing it. <laughs> what do you call it? It's just me. Oh, it's just me. Yes, I did a lot of research, and this is. Oh. Do you need help with that? I did, okay, I need. Oh no, I did it. Oh look, you 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 did it. I did it. So, All right, she's on her own now. This is the fridge. It is. This is not very. Oh yeah, there it is. It's a scalpel. Oh, it is a. Ooh. Be careful. Oh, it's a sharp thing. Yeah, we'll just. Holy crap. Just do it in one spot. I am. Just back off, Freddie. Do you want me to help you? No, it's just me. <laughs> so I'm fine. Oh, oh, this up. Let's put that down. Yes, so did lots of research. <laughs> oh, look at this. And this is the one we decided after everything. Oh, oh, just stick that over there. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's around the other way. In front of it's this way. We can spin it. Yeah. 
I can spin it. Okay. It's about look, me. You look very pretty today with the flower. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's just spin this little thing around. Oh, there we go. It's actually... There oh, we go. No, you don't get the comment. Okay, I'll shut up. So, I was limited to the good size of what could fit in the door. Yes, we had to the work out at the... Oh. It's not about you, it's about me. <laughs> you need to shush. Okay, so this is a 12 volt and a 240 volt. Very exciting. Fridge freezer. It's a freezer. Fridge freezer. Oh, well, that's, that's gooey. Is that meant to be sticky? Yeah, it's a ceiling thing. Well, it's a sticky ceiling thing. Mm, just don't break any Ooh, of that. What's this? That's the how you to wire it in. That's yeah, for see, me. Oh, that, I won't be doing that part. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> no, that's not When about I turn me. it on, we'll put your fingers on it. No, that's not about me. <laughs> so anyway, oh, get down here. We've got to get down here. Yep. Yeah. That's got this little locky thing. Well, when we're not travelling. Back off, I can do it. Alright. Oh. You alright? Yep. Just mm. don't tip it over. Oh. So how much did this freezer cost us? Well, I've got a deal. What was the deal? So they wanted two thousand. Two thousand dollars. And we got it for uh, seventeen hundred. With this thing. What is that thing? I don't know. But I'm sure you'll work it out. Oh, and mirrors. And caravan mirrors yep. for a car. What is this thing? I don't know. I don't know. It's not it's about a, oh, It's a pen thing that you put on your gas bottle, LPG gas bottle, and it tells you how oh. full it is. Look. Anyway. I'm busy. Okay. Oh, oh, my goodness. Finally got it out. Oh! Boy. Oh, okay. All right, so you've done all the research on it. Yes, did all the research on it. So what's the go? And we decided this is the way. This is what we want. So we lift up this. Yeah, that broke, and I hope it don't break. Oh, oh. Why is that not opening? Is it the taggy thing on the top? I don't think so. The thing? Um, vent. Yeah, maybe go that way, right? Oh, what's happening? Uh, this part's not about me. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't it opening, honey? It's right um, down the bottom. What's happening down the bottom? Oh, oh, what is that? Maybe we'll have to get the instructions out how to open up a fridge. Surely. I don't know. I don't know. Do I have to help? Oh, I didn't want you to help. Why, why doesn't it open? Hmm. You can't you open the fridge? <laughs> <laughs> I really want to swear, but... <laughs> oh, what? Huntsman. That needs to leave the house. That has uh, to go. Okay. It's not going anywhere. No, it has to go. <laughs> no, no, we need to pause don't, now don't and get like rid of the spiders. spiders. No, we've got to pause. Let's pause. Right, <laughs> we got rid of the spider. It's gone. The spider's gone. Okay, and I've worked out how that the shells were jamming, so we... You worked it out, did oh, you? We worked it out. Oh, we. I, I worked it out. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. Okay, just me. Okay. Okay, so open up the fridge. So this is a 110 litre, okay, let me show you some of the th cool things that I like about it. Two litres can fit in here, and you can move this across, gently across. You can move it across, and if you haven't got your shelf full, apparently you can put your little leggies up there. So I've got two shelves here, I've got little drawers here. Oh, Christmas, that's tiny, isn't it? Well, it's only you or me. It's just us. That'll be anyway, that'll be the next one. 
Anyway, I wanted the bigger fridge, but apparently we couldn't get it in the Oh, we couldn't that. get it in the door. Yeah, apparently. Okay. I don't we... know if I believe him. Anyway, Shh. check this out. These little things here lift out. Hang on, I'll, I'll get this one out. Oh, there you go. This little thing here lifts out, so you can have bigger bottles in here. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I know. See, didn't you? Like wine bottles <laughs> in here. So you can actually have taller things here. And, oh, freezer. Haven't seen in here. And here's our little freezer space there. So what we can... Should be able to put in a lot of, you know, ice in there for my cocktails. Anywho. And what's this thing? That is, if you pop at the vent, when it shuts in the caravan, it won't fully shut. So, it's, oh. <laughs> it did. Oh. Or does it go the other way? Maybe it goes the other way. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Weep. Weep. <laughs> oh, hang on. Let me just... What is happening? It's I don't know if everyone wants to see this fridge stuff. No. Do they? Um, I thought it goes like that and that. Well, it's supposed to keep it ajar so you, when you're not uh, using it, it's venting it. There's a book down there, so I think the book will tell us everything yep. that we need to know. Rightio. So this is going to be a little fridge. It's a brand new fridge in our caravan. It is. Oh, look, we've got and it looks there. damn good compared to the other one. There we go. So we've got some instructions here, so we might have a look at those and check it all out, I think. Mm. So there you go. All right, so I'm going to measure this up um, and we're going to start doing the framework. Yep, but let's face it, the bigger fridge would have been better. How much bigger? It was only going to be that much bigger. I know. That's okay. No, it's fine. It'll be fine. It's just you or me. It's I just know. me. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> uh, it's just us. It's just us. <laughs> right, okay. let's, moving on. We're going to get this frame in. Hmm. All right, we'll go back out to the caravan. Thank you for that, Nicole. You're most welcome. Ciao. All right, guys. Um, I had a bit of a talk to Nick. It turns out I don't think I'm going to do, uh, we're not going to finish off this frame today for this episode because there's flashing. There's a flashing that comes around. We, we opted for the flush mount flashing, so we want the, um, the fridge to be flush with the framework. So I don't want to build framework and it's all wrong and then the flashing comes up and then the flashing goes past the framework and it's not a lot to actually put in, so... Um, during this week, I will put that one in, but I'm not going to put that one in. It's only three pieces, one there, one there, one there. So I'm not going to put three pieces in and then have it all mucked up. So the height of the, um, fridge is 730. So to give you an idea, just move you there for a minute. The height of the fridge. So I plan on using this for the top. At the height of the fridge is 7.30, which is there. So I'm thinking if it goes there, um, we'll have another one of those on the bottom. And the flashing should go around this. But I just don't want to do it just in case it's wrong. So I've already pre-painted the, the parts for here. So in the next episode, it won't be so bad. So I'm sorry, guys, but next episode, we're going to put the fridge in. We're actually going to get the fridge in the caravan and get it in there. But hey, we're moving forward. We got the TV and the pull-out pantry finished. Um, I've already pre-painted all this. Once that's in, we can concentrate on the sink and the plumbing. Um, I've already bought the tabletops. So um, the tabletops look damn good. It's the same material as this. Same material as that. So I'll give you an idea. It'll be like that. See, it looks better than this because this is an old piece. Um, and, and what I've, yeah, it'll look better when it's oiled. So the sink will be there. Anyway, 
Yeah, I just don't want to. I don't want to rush it and muck it up. I don't want to screw holes in the floor or anything until we know exactly what we're doing. We get the fridge in here and we work out what we're doing. Plus, I've got to work out um, what's happening with this water. That's the water for the garden hose. So that's the water from the tank itself. But that's the um, supply water if we go to a caravan place. So, and that'll go to the sink. So I've got to work out what we're going to do there as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I was a little bit inventful with the spider and everything. Anyway, there you go. Hope you like that. I think that'll, um, that all turned out pretty good. Rightio, guys. We'll see you next time when we're going to put the fridge in. Cheers.